The political battle over $15 million addressing hospital closures in the Chippewa Valley continues in Madison. This as state Republican senators voted to override Governor Evers' veto on one of the health care shutdown bills. Now, back when HSHS announced its closures, the legislature passed two bills addressing the hospital shutdown. One would have given the $15 million to Chippewa Valley emergency rooms, helping them with their services. Now, Evers made changes, letting the money be used for things like OBGYN care and mental health resources. It also allowed the money to go to counties outside of Chippewa and Eau Claire as well. That's where Republicans have a problem, saying the funds can now be used too broadly. Today, State Senator Jesse James sharing his support overruling the vote, saying the money has become too political. Then another senator moved to go straight to the vote without allowing anyone else to testify, and that's where things got heated. Senator, you are out of order. You're required to sit. You, you shall care. You're out of order. For months, this $15 million has been in gridlock as the Republican-controlled Joint Finance Committee refuses to take up the money. They say the money should only be used within the original intent of the bill. We asked our political analyst about this gridlock and why it's happening, and here's what he had to say. The p political posturing you're seeing right now is all about leverage. And it's not only a power struggle today, but it's also a power struggle for the next two years in the state of Wisconsin. Once again, the Senate did vote to overrule Governor Evers' veto about the $15 million, with all Senate Democrats voting no. Now the override moves to the Assembly, where Republicans don't have the votes to override the governor's veto.